Hello, hello, good morning. Welcome everyone. Thank you for joining us here in person and thank you for the thousands online following us because it's very important to, to us to have all of, uh, all of you with us in this moment of change. We need change in our economy, we need change in our society, we need change in our lives. I think all of what we do together is a process of change. And it's about change too that we'll be discussing throughout these next two days, um, not only on these different dimensions, but that's why we also changed to Aveiro. Aveiro, like you saw, it's a beautiful city. The, the weather is a little bit rainy, but even so, it's a very amazing city to, to be, to live, to work. But especially what we saw is that we wanted to do what we always preached. We always said that we wanted an event that would be more than the three days. We didn't want to be a place where we would come for three days and then just leave. And then we'll see you next year, right? And see you next year. We wanted somewhere where, where we could stay. And I would like to, I, I was thinking about that actually on the last weeks because I'm always in this self-auditing process of trying to understand exactly why we're doing this, why exactly Planet Years was, was created. And I think there's a lot of reasons. But mostly of all, and I was speaking with some friends last, uh, last, last night about that, is actually I think that all of us somehow feel sometimes lonely. The process is lonely of trying to change things. Because we have all of these uh, um, chaotic scenarios around us in the world, especially nowadays, that we have to deal with, and especially with people that want to bring, make things better, right? Sometimes it can be hard to understand how can we actually do it all. And I think that the Planet Years World Gathering some, somehow was created to bring me that answer, and then I saw that all, a, a lot of other people had the same question, for, and the answer for that question was, we need to gather. Every time I leave this event, I feel connected with like-minded people. Every time I leave this event, I feel that there were, there were conversations that led to new projects and collaborations. And I always feel that we leave this event uh, with a sense of community and a sense of collaboration that we always wanted to bring. That's why we had amazing people in the next, in the last editions, and they're coming back, and, and, and they're bringing more people to join us in a way that uh, uh, more people can feel the same. And we can try to find complementary efforts, complementary skills, so that we can actually scale impacts, scale projects, and at the end of the day, uh, achieve the other great goal that we always had with this project, which is we don't want sustainability to be our hobby. We don't want sustainability to be our, you know, spare time activity. We spend most of our lives in, in our work. So we need to create jobs that are in sustainability activities. We need to create jobs in regenerative activities so that we, just, we don't just have some impact on the weekend, right? And we're seeing that. We're seeing companies that we connected with researchers that are developing new uh, new ways of uh, uh, um, to, uh, new uh, uh, new knowledge uh, around how can we regenerate and scale uh, business models. We've been putting together people that are build, creating new funds for sustainable businesses and projects. And now we're very proud to uh, be connecting people from different continents. We very recently. Uh, closed uh, a protocol and a relationship with Brazil, a very dear country uh, of ours and, and partner. Uh, we're talking with other continents that we believe that should be connected. Something that I learned personally from after the pandemic is that the world, and I think that was a massive learning for everyone, that the world is smaller. It was a very, you know, it's, I think it was a slap of, from the reality that the world is smaller than we think, right? When we're talking about our village, our city, our country, our continent, we, can't, we, we need to talk about that, of course, but we need to open the conversations 
for everyone in the, around the world and try to build bridges in a way that actually sustainability is implemented in the real economy. And I don't want to spend a lot of time here. I want to leave the stage for people that have a lot more to, to talk about than myself, uh, especially because, again, we did this because I wasn't innovative enough, I think, for, for doing some of the, the projects that are being done here. I wasn't probably so creative or didn't have the business experience, but I focused on what I wanted to do, which is actually, again, connecting people, gathering people in order to develop projects. So, again, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for the people online also joining us uh, uh, through the, the, the link and the website. But mostly of all, let me just highlight this. Please discuss. Uh, please share with each other what you're doing. Please introduce yourselves. And again, throughout this year, these uh, next two days, again, we're going to have some sessions that will be inviting some people and approach to us. And, and please get to me and say, I want to know these people, uh, this person. I want to know this project. Because the goal of the project is this. It's not just to be talking here and then just leave, right? And I'm sure that just like the last editions, we'll have some fruitful and very meaningful connections being built here. And friendships, maybe, because we've been able to do that too. Because I think it's from there that we actually we're going to bring new things in the world. Uh, we're going to do uh, uh, amazing things together for the future ahead. And that starts now. Thank you again so much. And please, I would like to call to the stage the deputy mayor of the Aveiro uh, municipality, which was this amazing host that made possible not only for this event to happen, but of course, uh, the person that is driving us to do something more, again, and meaningful with the city for the next years. Please, Rogério Carlos, get to the stage. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Aveiro. I prefer uh, speaking Portuguese, but Sergio, please. No, you have to speak in <laughs> English. So I wrote some words to tell you. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Aveiro and the opening ceremony of the Planeteers World Gathering, a global significant event taking place here at the Aveiro Congress Center. It's, it's a great honor and privilege that I stand before you today representing the municipality of Aveiro as its vice mayor to deliver the opening speech of this momentous gathering. Over the past 10 years, the vision of the municipality of Aveiro under the leadership of our president, Engineer José Ribaus Teves, and has been to create a truly sustainable city. Sustainability was become a cornerstone of our development, which is why the Planet Year's World Gathering holds such profound importance for our city, region, and, dare I say, for Portugal and the world. I would like to begin by expressing my sincere gratitude to Sergio Ribeiro, whose incredible spirit has made it possible to organize this magnificent event on such an international scale. The decision to move away from Lisbon may not have been as easy, but bringing Planeteers to Aveiro has undoubtedly the right choice. It is pride and honor that we welcome national and international speakers in the field of sustainability, transforming our region into a beacon of global best practice for a subject of so vital for the future of our planet. The Aveiro region is now recognized as a global leader in industrial innovation and sustainable production. Our business success serves as clear evidence that sustainable production is essential for a long-term success. Emphasizing the importance of sustainable practice in the future of our territories, circular 
economy and the preservation of our natural and cultural heritage is crucial. Future generations will demonstrate a deep concern for the preservation for, of our planet. We will not accept shortcomings or falsifications of good practice. It is our duty to listen to and support the voice of the youth and incorporate their ideas and energies in our sustainable development strategies. The Aveiro region is blessed with a diverse and prestigious natural heritage, from the majestic South Flat, from high-quality seed food, to forests, from urban green space, to sustainable mobility. Each element contributes to the uniqueness of our region. Preserving this heritage is a responsibility we take very strongly. Over the next few days, the Planetary World Gathering will serve as a forum for the sharing of knowledge, experience, and innovative solutions that will drive our collective mission to for a more sustainable future. Make the most of this opportunity to learn, collaborate, and inspire one another. Thank you for being here today and for being a part of this event that will undoubtedly leave a lasting mark on the global sustainability landscape. Let us work together to make our planet a better place for present and future generation. Thank you very much and have an excellent journey. Thank you.